In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the direction angles and the direction cosines of a vector. So let's begin by drawing a picture. So here we have the z-axis, the y-axis, and also the x-axis. Now let's say we have the vector v in this region. Now here is our first unit vector i, j, and the unit vector k. So the first angle we need to be familiar with, the first direction angle, is alpha. So it's between the unit vector i and the vector v. The next one is beta, which is between the unit vector j and vector v. And then the last one is gamma, which is between the unit vector k and the vector v. So those are the three direction angles that you need to know, alpha, beta, and gamma. Now the direction cosines are simply the cosines of those three angles. So we have the first one, cosine alpha, which is the x component of the vector divided by its magnitude. And then we have cosine beta, which is the y component of the vector divided by the magnitude of vector v. And finally, cosine gamma, which is vz over the magnitude of vector v. So we're going to say that v can be broken down into its three components, vx, vy, and vz. And don't forget that the magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of vx squared plus vy squared plus vz squared. So this is how you could find the three direction cosines using these three formulas. Now, if you need to calculate the direction angles, here are the formulas that you could use to get the answer. So let's start with alpha. So alpha is just going to be the arc cosine of vx divided by the magnitude of v. Beta is simply the arc cosine of vy divided by the magnitude of v. And gamma is the arc cosine of vz over the magnitude of v. So now what we're going to do is work on some problems so you can put these equations to good use. Now there's one more thing that I forgot to give you. It's another equation and basically what it says is that the sum of the squares of the direction cosines adds up to 1. And so here's another formula that goes with this section. Now let's work on this problem. Find the direction cosines of vector v and show that the sum of the squares of the direction cosines is 1. So let's start with part a. Now the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the magnitude of vector v. So it's going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared plus negative 4 squared. 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, negative 4 squared is 16. So we have 16 plus 4 which is 20 plus 25 and so that's the square root of 45. Now if you want to simplify the radical you could but it's not really necessary. So now let's find the direction cosines. Cosine alpha is going to be the x component divided by the magnitude of vector v. So the x component is 2. So it's 2 over the square root of 45. Cosine beta is equal to the y component divided by the magnitude of v. So the y component is the number in front of the unit vector j. 
So that's 5 over the square root of 45. And lastly, cosine gamma, that's going to be vz over the magnitude of v. And so z is negative 4 in this example. So it's negative 4 over the square root of 45. So these are the values of the three direction cosines. Now the last thing that we need to do for this problem is that we need to show that the sum of the squares of the direction cosines is 1. So 2 over square root 45 squared plus 5 over root 45 squared plus negative 4 over root 45 squared. You just got to show it's equal to, to 1. So 2 squared is 4. And once you square the square root of 45, you get 45. 5 squared is 25. Negative 4 squared is 16. And then 16 plus 4 plus 25, that's 45. So 45 over 45 is 1. And that's it. So now that you see how to do part A, go ahead and do part B. Now don't worry about showing that the sum of the squares of the direction cosines is 1, because that's always going to be true. So for part B, just focus on finding the direction cosines of vector v. So let's begin by calculating the magnitude. So it's going to be the square root of 7 squared plus negative 4 squared plus 6 squared. 7 squared is 49, negative 4 squared is 16, and 6 squared is 36. 16 plus 36 is 52 plus 49, that's 101. So we have the square root of 101. Now once we have the magnitude, we can now find the three direction cosines. Cosine alpha is going to be the x component, which is 7, divided by the magnitude. Cosine beta is the y component, which is negative 4, divided by the magnitude. And finally, cosine gamma is the z component, which is 6, divided by the magnitude. And so it's pretty straightforward to calculate the direction cosines. So that's it for this problem. Number two, find the direction angles of vector v. I'm going to do part A, and then you could do part B. So just like before, we're going to begin by finding the magnitude of vector v. So we have the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus negative 6 squared. And so 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36. 9 plus 16 is 25, 25 plus 36, that's 61. Now, to find the first direction angle, which is alpha, is going to be the arc cosine of the x component divided by the magnitude. So the x component of vector v is 3, and the magnitude is the square root of 61. So make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Our cosine 3 over the square root of 61 is approximately 67.4 degrees, if you round it. So that's the first one. Now to find the next one, beta is going to be arc cosine of the y component divided by the magnitude. So the y component is 4, and the magnitude is the square root of 61. And so that's approximately going to be 59.5. Two degrees. Now for the next one, gamma, it's the arc cosine 
over the z component of vector v divided by its magnitude. And so the z component is negative 6. And let's divide that by the square root of 61. And so I got 140.2 degrees. And so that's how you could find the three direction angles of a vector. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and try part B. Calculate the three direction angles of vector V. So just like before, we're going to begin by calculating the magnitude of vector V. And that's the square root of 2 squared plus negative 7 squared plus 3 squared. So 2 squared is 4, 7 squared is 49, 3 squared is 9. So 4 plus 49, that's 53, and 53 plus 9 is 62. So we have the square root of 62. Now to find alpha, it's going to be the arc cosine of the x component, which is 2, divided by the magnitude. And so we have the arc cosine of 2 over the square root of 62, which is going to be about 75.3 degrees. So that's the first one. Now let's move on to beta. It's going to be the arc cosine of the y component, which is negative 7, divided by the magnitude. And so that's going to be 152.7 degrees. Now for the last one, gamma, that's equal to the arc cosine of the z component, which is 3 over the square root of 62. And so that's going to be 67 six degrees. And that's basically it. So now you know how to find the direction angles of a vector and you know how to find the direction cosines. Thanks for watching.